We've looked at templates and they're pretty cool. Great to use, easy to update. But if you work like me, more on your own than in some big huge factory with thousands of web designers working on the same site, then templates sometimes to me seem a little bit overkill. I don't really need it. I'm not protecting myself from myself. So let's do this. Go into Files panel and open up Index. In Index, if I go live on this thing, this is a workable navigational system. And you know what? I think I'd like to make that a library item. Now, what is a library item? A library item is anything that you're going to use more than once. It is not like a template. It's a piece. It's not a whole page. It's cooking with a plan logo. It's a navigational system. It's even the little info logo if you want to use that over and over again. What the library does is it not only retains the logo or the navigational system, but it retains what it's supposed to do, linking to other things. Let's get out of live. Let's go into assets. We're just not spending enough time here. I love this area. For example, the first area right here is images. And if you click it, there's all the images. Now, here's the difference between here and, say, images over here. I have images in here. I also have images in folders called originals. This gives me all of them regardless of where they are. So it's kind of like a universal. I'm going to find them anywhere in the site and I'm going to give them to you. And the other thing, of course, is the really nice thing is it actually shows you what the thing is. Now, you can drag from here if you want to. You don't have to use files. The next one down is colors. These are the colors that are being utilized in this site. And they're saved automatically as we use them and save the pages. You can literally drag them out and recolorize something if you want to. Nice to have. Next one down is URLs, Uniform Resource Locators, websites, stuff like that. Cool thing about that is when we make them, we haven't made any in this site, they'll be here, or you can even add them if you want. The whole idea, though, is that if that piece of text here needed to be a link, and I had it up here, I could drag it on top. I would guarantee it would work, wouldn't it? You got one for Flash. You got one for Shockwave. You've got one for Movies. You've got one for Scripts. We do have Scripts in this, JavaScripts. We have one here for Templates. There's our template. And finally, getting down here, the Library. The Library is an area where we can put something, a piece, and check it out. I still actually have a Library card. How many of you guys still have a Library card? I can go in. I can check things out. I can bring them back, check something else out. I'm looking for something on this page that would be an excellent candidate for a library item, and I'm thinking menu up there, that navigational system. So I'm going to click on Home Base. I'm going to come all the way over here and shift-click on Contact Us, select everything. Now drag it from here into this top box right here, and there it is. You say, well, it doesn't look the same. Well, understand, these are individual objects. Graphics. You know, that's all they are. But they're constrained inside this div, which is long and thin. There's no div down here to constrain them. They're just objects. So that's the way they're going to look. But the cool thing about that, if you think about it, if we decide to use this library item in a vertical area, well, they'll fit. They'll work just like a glove. Let's change the name from to to main navigation. It's going to ask us to update links if it needs to. I'd say probably you're going to say yes to that. And there you go. We have made our first library item. Let's go ahead and close index. And yes, definitely save. On to the next.